The L.A. Lakers, Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan of San Antonio, Kevin Garnett of Minnesota. Open. And Francis able to retrieve. Of course, in the lineup change, you've got Michael Jordan guarding and Kevin Garnett. You see the lob over the top. 15 points, 8 rebounds. Garnett. Yes. Tracy McGrady. McGrady from down. The finish right there. Matchup on defense. I think you can find Yao on the floor. It's not that hard to find. Steve, Steve Francis with the score. On the other side. That's where you meet all the white jerseys that are protecting the rim. And that's a good sign because they're playing competitive. They're not just letting somebody get to the front of the rim. Oh, what a move by McGrady to the reverse. And the East has opened up one for its first seven. Steal by O'Neal. Iverson behind the back. McGrady was looking for. And then when Yao Ming goes out, fellow by the name of Shaquille O'Neal. McGrady's pass broke it up. And the quickness of Steve Francis leading to the break. Duncan going last. A forward position. Iverson. Wallace can pick that up uh, right away. It's about 5.45 a.m. in Shanghai. Oh, Wallace is fouled. Nice pass. East to the line. Allen have, has a good feel with all the white jerseys are going right, but knowing somebody's back there left, he finds Ben Wallace and then Kobe trying to... Terrific season for the Pistons. Nice move by Jermaine O'Neal. thing coming right behind the point guard as you come down the floor. You on the payroll now, then? I am. 14-10, West with the lead. Stefan Barber, who just checked in. So Jason Kidd of the New Jersey Nets, Brad Miller of the Indiana Pacers have checked in. What a move by Iverson to set it up for Miller. Ron Archest, Ron Mercer, Travis Best, Steve Nash, who just came on, setting it up for Duncan, rejected by O'Neal. And here comes Kidd. Iverson met by Nash. Iverson, yes. Well, let's go back to... But think about Indiana's problem at the end of the season. They must re-sign Reggie Miller. Jermaine O'Neal is someone they have to deal with. Then you talk about Michael Jordan finally scoring the pass. Mike Fratello, Jeff Van Gundy, Craig Sager, and Cheryl Miller, along with a star-studded crowd, including Denzel Washington, Hall of Famer, one of the NBA's great... Now, Sean Marion of the Phoenix Suns, who just came out, is guarding Jordan. Michael uh, Early on, it felt that, uh, well, the fans had voted him in, or the unfair to the fans. Nice play, Jason Espin. Good play by Pierce. Leading to this, Iverson. Oh, and he blows the layup. Iverson again. The East with a 23 16. There's the lob that Take his spot, and you know, I mean, he, he was he was very respectful. You know, I think he took some undue punishment. You know, all he's doing. Is you recall in Michael's All Star Day. Oh, Vince Carter on the stuff, and once again the lob, and Sean Marion does it with the quarterly was Michael's influence. Dirk Nowitzki is able to score alone in 1992, and of course over the years it's been a very fierce. Rivalry, they have a degree of tension there, and the scoring is picked up once again. That first quarter, this group has come out, they're playing a different kind of basketball, a wide open basketball, with not many shots being contested right now. About it with Isaiah. Yeah, and, and Isaiah ha has mentioned that this was really a, a real dark spot in his uh, basketball career as Paul Pierce. Now, why shouldn't this thing be buried? Put to rest, Isaiah has moved on to his coaching career, a very successful coaching career. And it just happens, circumstances wind up being that he's coaching the team. The uh, first quarter to take the lead, Marion. And it's Sean Marion once again. In the backcourt, Marion able to uh, chase it. Chase it down, and Nowitzki hits the West in the midst of a 14-2 run. Vince Carter with the top. Al Mashburn of the Hornets, who just came on into a handle. Looking for the three. Fires over to Vitsky. Yes! Jason Kidd grew up 
with Gary Payton, one of his heroes. They both uh, grew up in Oakland, California. Of the future out here, which of these NBA guys, when their careers are done, as we see Antoine Walker, a little turnout, are not able to finish it. Antoine Walker put it off the glass into the playground style All Star game as Paul Pierce is in competition. He's, his arm is tired. An ambassador's thing because I think they do a, a very, very important job for our NBA. All right, here's Kobe Bryant gets it back. Garnett. Oh, my goodness. Up down. Up close and personal with Kevin Garnett. Garnett with eight points now in his 13 minutes of play. I turn it over a little bit too much, but in there, you know, we play the ball and have fun. All right, thanks a lot, Sean. Let's send it back to you. Oh, man, man. Mashburn for three. Just turned it over as he went one on two. Peyton Stoyakovich able to go glass over Duncan. And here comes the West. Peyton oh, lobs it for Garnett. Bill O'Neill. And here comes Jordan with Garnett back. Michael Jordan. He now has 248 points in his all-star career. That moves him past Oscar Robertson into second place. Coming up on a minute. Remaining of the half. Duncan! By Antoine Walker. Here's Shaquille O'Neal just backing his way on Walker. Way off of that three-point attempt. Garnett is ahead of the field. Shaq and see went behind the back instead. Duncan for Garnett. History his career. Well, as Michael said from the beginning, he did not want, and it's very difficult, but he did not want this weekend to be all about Michael Jordan. But McGrady from Iverson. I remember it by the West, leading to this, an open shot for Francis. Francis from downtown. Well, that's the type of unselfish play that you'd like to see take place as Iverson takes to the basket and the ability to finish by reversing it on the other side. How about the uh, statement yesterday by Jason Kidd who becomes a free agent July 1st. He's been ducking the issue, but uh, yesterday, although as Garnett hits again. How about Tony Parker? Going to be 20 years old right now, okay, who's in his second year in the NBA, who's done an excellent job for him as Tim Duncan. Tony Parker uh, is an outstanding second-year player. Duncan is rejected by O'Neal, but Jason Kidd's addition, uh, I would think, would accelerate uh, the possibilities for San Antonio. The Spurs will be well under the salary cap uh, after this season. You know what's hard to do, Marv, is win and be under the salary cap. The Spurs management has done an outstanding job remaining a championship contender and, as Jason said, knock down the three. I know he's going to get five more points here, but uh, oh, it's a great event. I mean, it, you know, it shows uh, a lot of where net NBA. Yao Ming. Duncan with the mismatch. Oh, oh. And tipped home by. We'll just let that offensive goaltender go by for right now since he put his hand inside the bottom of the rim to finish it. Here's McGrady. Ten points for Tracy. Off the turnover. Iverson. Yes. All star game two years ago. 25 points, 27 minutes at 15 points. And that. Come back oh. in the fourth quarter. Kobe Bryant oh. taking to the rim. It counts. And we go to some. Duncan oh, finding Kit Jason uh, right behind him. Finished off by Kobe. And then Kobe staying with it. Finishing with the left hand. Kobe Bryant. Just three of six. What's it been like to play with him as far as, uh, you know, with him instead of getting against, against him? He's a very nice guy. I met his family yesterday. How talented do you think he can eventually be? Very talented. He's, uh, he has a lot of great fundamental skills. You know, he runs the court well. You know, he plays like a big man. He's a shot. In a row, 13 of their last 17. Kobe Bryant. And back comes the East, a three-on-one. <laughs> Tracy stepped away. Bryant not able to take advantage. Brad Miller able to finish. Nice. 
but he runs the floor extremely well in transition. Him and Jermaine O'Neal can really, really run the floor. 18 points, 7 rebounds in 25 minutes. Oh, what a pass! And My assistant coach is here with the Atlanta Hawks, and Kazzy has an inner peace with himself. Uh, really, uh, really has some things in mind as Shaq finishes with all oh, the travel is called challenge. Yet he never was concerned with the fact that it was a, a small college, art school. He just wanted to coach basketball. And how about them right now? Are they uh, playing outstanding basketball? They are right up at the top there in the Western Conference. Oh, beautiful pass. The back door. Being open shots for all ladies. Here's Jordan. Rejected by all. Goes up and says, not get it over the top of me. And then the quick little bounce pass to the cutter down the lane. See right there. Jeff getting back to the game. Bryant with the pass to O'Neal. And in this third quarter. You like me talking about metallic finishes, I can tell. Tracy McGray on his hand to give him a five. Shaq ignores, he says to his teammate, not right now, just leave me alone. Michael Jordan able to hit the fadeaway for passing Kareem as the all-time all-star scorer. Tim Duncan right back. Sucks. Checking back in the line. And both clubs are on fire. Congratulations on a great weekend once again. You know, thank you. And Michael's like, he's the Cheryl Miller of the NBA. You know, I tell that to everybody. Marv? <laughs> that is high praise. And Michael Jordan with his 10th point. So he has now passed by Kareem Abdul Jabbar. And he is the all time all star scorer. Incidentally, the commissioner has been on a media tour today. Food Channel. He has made the rounds. A Grady from downtown. I don't think the Lakers mind that at all. Well, there are many that feel that uh, this is a big advantage for the Los Angeles Lakers. Like you, Jeff. And Stefan Marbury. At the line. And uh, Marbury lost it. Fourth and final game, I should say. And here is Carter, the crowd looking for the. They wanted more from Vince. They wanted. Poor year. Marion has stopped. And he was the uh, guy traded for Jason Kidd. And Shaquille O'Neal able to put it down. Looks like uh, Ben Wallace. Addition, Matt Harbring, along with Andre Kirilenko, now coming off the bench, have been the key for them. And Sean Marion gets this lead for the field. Shaquille O'Neal handling and putting between the legs, putting moves on Brad Miller. Jordan changed his mind. A little behind the back, but over. Somehow I don't think Phil... Offense a little bit in Los Angeles, maybe that's what they meant. Stoyakovich from... Johnny finds Marion. Strong move by Sean... Jack. Uh, Shaquille O'Neal going close to the lane for O'Neal. An inverted type pick and roll as he's leading the break. Oh, nice look away. Oh, and Gary Payton is able to finish. Block shots. He's isolated on the wing and he led oh. the fast break and made the system. That will count. And the 300, well, 20, 40, 60 pounds. Taking it, dropping it on the floor. And then the finish at the end for the Western team. A little isolation here through the legs, trying to show him he's got some tricks. Brad Miller gets a little laugh out of him until Shaq starts coming at him. What a shot of game for Allen Iver. Surprised that Michael did go out there and start. Uh, the way he sounded yesterday, he didn't sound too convincing about going out there. So, uh, but we're out here having fun now. Hopefully, we can get this win and whatever happens. And another. O'Neal powers his way. Bob's had an outstanding game. He's got 16 points, 12 rebounds, a couple block shots. And how about tracing it off O'Neal? Iverson, yes. And the East leading 1-0. So that they can get some easy scores, easy look at the basket. They get Jermaine O'Neal running on the floor. This time, Pager lays it up. You see Shaq keeping it alive, and then Shaq gets his balance, finishes, knowing he's too strong, too big. Bryant, gonna get to the dribble, uh, yes he does, gets it to Nash. It counts, and the foul. What a side, and then when he saves it, he lands right into a bunch of cameramen down on the baseline, you'll see right here, it winds up landing on top of the camera, but saves it, Nash makes the recovery, and then the finish after the foul. And he's television, as we showed you earlier. Here's Jordan, yes. 
picked up at shooting in the second half. Nowitzki not able to hit from downtown, but Kevin Garnett is there. And here's Michael Jordan. 16 for Jordan. It was all right. He said, yeah, ask the coach. Isaiah's comment was, it's my team. Well, Paul Pierce, 13. It's the biggest lead of the night. Here's Jordan with a change of pace. And rejected by Bryant. Jordan. I had a suggestion that you up the ante in the All-Star game and play. Oh, as Kevin Garnett throws it down. Up the ante in the All-Star not able to handle that pass. Iverson on the move, whipping by Nowitzki. Allen Iverson protecting the ball on Dirk Nowitzki. 22 for Iverson. Francis, yes. 1-8 last year in Philadelphia. Overall, the East with 32 victories. They dominated the West with 19. Here's Jordan with a flip. Guys tugging on their trunks, getting down that serious defensive stance. They dig it in right now. Duncan. So with a minute, Duncan. Oh, it counts and the foul. And cut, clear it out, give the big man space, get your defender up in the air, draw the contact, and then so overtime on the bench. And O'Neal has now come back in, and they've gone with the big front court again for the East, out of the West. I'm sorry. Francis and Bryant in the backcourt. Garnett, O'Neal, and Duncan up front. Here's Francis. Steve Francis has given the... Iverson skying for this time, but able to get to it. Iverson wide open. Look for the better shot. I actually thought maybe Allen might try to bank it off the glass from that particular angle there, but instead he's so used to playing it straight in, he went back to his strength. Game tied at 122. Hey. Bryant for O'Neal. And Shaq is able to line drive at home. And for those people, it's back to 1951. Bryant, yes. Bryant puts it on the floor, suddenly pulls up and gets a clean look. And we see Allen Iverson come right back with the finish at the other end. Get it up on the board. Iverson has 29. He scored all seven East points in the overtime. And Kobe Bryant right back. Rebounded by O'Neal. Kobe Bryant. 21 remaining on the shot clock. Kobe Bryant somehow getting a piece of that shot attempt. Kobe Bryant took it out of the hands of Kid. Kobe Bryant. And Kobe. It's his competitive spirit that really separates himself. He competes each game each practice in the summers to get better. And then right there, he didn't just pick any point guard. He picked the best point guard in the game today in Jason Kidd. And here remaining in OP, Garnett. So the West has see a favorite, the offensive end. Bryant wants it. Steve Francis from the ability to certainly love catch and finish. We'll see Steve Francis throw back into Garnett, who has the size advantage over the lift sub. Hits that little 10 foot baseline jump. East in possession down by seven. Jason Kidd, nice adjustment by Kidd. 135 130, the West with the lead after trailing by as many as 10. McGrady, yes, Neal. And Jim Clark. The outside official calls it stuffed. The shot clock should be turned off right now. They can run it all the way down. Well, we're down to 10 seconds remaining in overtime. And Michael has the ball. Again guarded by Sean Marion. The fadeaway. Yes! With four and eight ten seconds remaining. The West takes a timeout. That was his 26th. Field goal attempt tonight. It takes a lot of energy to get this type of shot up and in. And at the end of regulation, the West failed to call timeout so they could advance and take a last shot on Jordan's list. Here they inbounded the ball instead of taking the timeout. Now it's in the backcourt with no timeouts left and only three seconds to go. 36 minutes. Bill Russell. Wallace applying the pressure on the inbound. 
It's broken up by Kidd, played by Ryder Myers, and is fouled. With one second remaining, he was fouled in three-point territory. He'll have three shot attempts. Wow. Jermaine O'Neal looks like from here he runs out almost a steal by Jason Kidd. That was Jermaine O'Neal goes for it. Right there, we see the body contact. It definitely is behind the three-point line. Not a smart foul by Jermaine O'Neal. As Kobe goes to the line with one second remaining in overtime. And now the East lead is one. Kobe Bryant, an 83% free throw shooter. You recall with 10 seconds left in regulation, he missed a free throw. Looking to tie. And now it comes down to the third shot. Michael Jordan goes over. Try and bother Kobe Bryant. Surprising. Kobe missed at the end of regulation and now missed here. I would have counted him for all three. Only one second left. And he has tied the game. At one Expected to play in 36 minutes plus, but uh, uh, he's been logging the time. Paul Pierce, though, has come on for Michael. Vince Carter is back. Here's Garnett. Draws the foul. It counts. It's on Carter and Garnett to the line. If I was Isaiah Thomas right now. Handling it at the point. He and Steve Francis in the backcourt with Garnett, Duncan, and Marion on the front line. Garnett over Carter, taking advantage of the mismatch. Vince Carter in the first overtime. They double up on Garnett, forces, and hits. He is on fire. Iverson with the step. Sets it up for Pierce. And more I think I... Attempts nine for 27. Francis for three. Here's Bryant for three. Yes. The West on that shot right there. I think Rick Adelman is nice move by Iverson. It counts with the foul. Rick Adelman is saying, hey, I Garnett. Ben Wallace lost sight. And that also dictated the change in the lineup. Shot clock down to five. Francis. In NBA All-Star history, 155-145. A game like this, but strictly from a personal standpoint, for you to be uh, added to the list of the legends who have been the MVP of the All-Star game, put that in words for me. No, I can't. You know, I think everybody enjoyed the game. Um, like Commissioner said, it was a great play. It was a great game just on the basis of just being Michael and very, very emotional game. And, like I said, I couldn't, I couldn't even, I couldn't have done none of this without uh, my teammates. So I just want to thank the coaching staff and the, and the, and the rest of the Western All Stars. At halftime in the ceremony uh, that honored Michael, he looked at at you bunch of players and said he felt like it was in good hands that he was basically passing the torch to you. What is the responsibility in your mind? I think uh, the responsibility falls not only on one single individual. I think. As you see, what's behind me, you know, we're in great shape with guys like Tim Duncan, AI, Stefan. You know, the league is full of guys who can carry it, but I think it's going to be a group effort, and I think it's one challenge that we all look up, look up to. Finally, what is your message for Michael tonight on a night with, uh, when everybody was thinking about uh, MJ's final appearance here? I'll finally be ball here. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the MVP of the All-Star Game, Kevin Garnett. Back to you, Marv. Well, the MVP was Kevin Garnett, but the night belonged to Michael Jordan. Getting congratulations now from Kobe Bryant, who made the free throws to send it into the double overtime. He scored more points than anybody in All-Star game history. Talk about the one at the end of overtime that appeared to be the game winner. Well, I mean, it was a tough shot. They played good defense. I was able to get to my right side and, you know, get off a shot, high arcing shot, and um, it went in. Thought it was a game winner, but obviously, you know, Anything can happen in the NBA game, and that's exactly what happened. You know, Kobe made a couple of free throws. He could have easily made three in a row to end the game, but 
we had a chance to go into overtime, and they just they had more energy than we did down the stretch. Did you say anything to Jermaine O'Neal for following him on the three-point attempt? No, I just couldn't believe the referee made that call. <laughs> no, no, obviously we were just trying to play hard defense, and those things happen. How will you remember this All-Star game? Double overtime, we lost. It was fun. You know, I, I think I got the chance to enjoy some good young company tonight. And, you know, as, as David Stern said, the NBA is still moving upward. And, and you can see by the young talent that's playing here and, you know, a lot of talent that's not here. The, fun, the game's going to be fun to watch for some time. And, and I look forward to just sitting back and watching and say, you know, I was a part of that group. I was a, one of the guys who passed it down to those guys. And, you know, that's truly a privilege. As with your teammates, your opponents, the fans, our television audience, it's a pleasure and honor for all of us to be here for your final one. Thank you very much. All right. All right, for Michael Jordan in his final All-Star appearance, he concludes as the all-time